My name is DJ Craze, Bad Boy. Top collaborations I've been part of. Um, I did some scratches on the tribute album for Bob Marley. I have a dope collab coming out right now with GTA. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. And stuff I do with Two Cents. Um, and stuff I do with the Allies, yeah. Favorite piece of technical equipment. Uh, my laptop. Yeah, all day. Can't live without it. Top five DJs in no order. Kick Capri, Qbert, Andy C, Craze. <laughs> and four colors back. Uh, favorite venue. I mean, for years it was Fabric. Just because like, I used to love coming out here and experiencing the vibe. So yeah, Fabric. I already collabed with Troy Boy, but I want to do another track with Troy Boy. Um, Carmack, Flume, Ivy Lab. Definitely want to make a tune with Ivy Lab. Probably going to happen this year. Let's make it happen, boys. Funniest moment on tour. Yo, so many. Um, being on tour is always fun. Shout out to oh, shit. Allies, Two Cents, Metamano, all the homies. And you, my boy. Kill the cows. All right, yo, yo, I want to scratch some shit. I want to see if you can, like, keep up with it. <laughs> DJ Craze. What it do, what it do. What it do, what it did. We're talking about what it is. Craze is five times, five times world DMC champion. Five times world DMC champion. When did you first get your turntables? Um, my first decks, I believe it's when I was probably 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. It's when Hurricane Andrew hit Miami and it fucked up our house. And with the insurance money, my mom got me turntables. Oh my <laughs> God, Was is that the truth? <laughs> yes, that's the truth. That's so, incredible. Big up Hurricane Andrew. Yeah. Without you. Yeah. You know, God, that's amazing. God, God blessed me <laughs> yeah. by fucking up our house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, damn. I mean, you know, uh, Miami's notorious for those kind of hurricanes. Yeah. Crazy. We haven't had a crazy one since Andrew. We've had hurricanes, but not like that. Andrew... Fucked fuck shit up Yeah Like how Bahamas got fucked up mm -hmm. That's how Miami got fucked up Damn. Leveled like a whole city uh, South of us Called Homestead That's mm -hmm. where the Air Force Base is at and Just That's through God, planes. That yeah Through planes Like <gasps> Like military planes It just like Fucking just threw them All around and shake Because with what? Because with hurricanes There's tor tornadoes involved too yeah. Like there's many tornadoes Everywhere Oh so they're spinning While it, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's some crazy shit So Miami we're gonna fuck you up <laughs> Like, you know, that level yeah. of like, thanks a lot. Yeah. And I started DJing with my brother, but my brother lived somewhere else. So I, I had to go to his house all the time to practice. And he had a, he got into a fight with my mom's. So I couldn't go there no, anymore. And then Hurricane Andrew hit and she was like, you seem kind of bummed out because mm. you can't go to your brother's house. Mm. I'm gonna get you turntables. I, I was like, what? That's the, that's the coolest shit. That's the coolest shit ever. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay, I don't know many parents that do. I mean, well, listen, I, I, I look at there's a, the demographic of DJ, and I think this is another thing as well. It's not a, 
it's, 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 it's not it's not entirely a, a poor man's sport. It's quite an expensive hobby, isn't it? Yeah. It comes with a lot of gear. And you've got to be yeah. tech-minded. You've yeah. got to buy the right things. you buy the wrong things and you're wasting your time. Exactly. So, you know, for your mum to just be like, well, I've got this money, so... Uh, <laughs> it's an argument that you know it's, like it's and and it was like i think i was 14 so maybe she was like because you know in 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 latin culture when you're 15 that's yeah. like your quinceañeras that's usually for girls mm. but like when you turn 15 it's a big it's a big it's a big deal yeah so i think she was just like oh, your, yeah. instead of buying you because like you know when you're 15 you either get like a well, shit, we were broke but <laughs> you, either a, you, a you, you, like you either get a car or you get something yeah. like baller and she was like i'm gonna get you turntables they were changed the history of you <laughs> of my, yeah. and pretty much the dj culture <laughs> that's fucking mad a hurricane you couldn't write it that shit's crazy yeah that's just crazy and back to the point that you were making uh, yeah. about it being expensive yeah. um back that like that's another reason well, i'm gonna get to this later but um nowadays there's not many kids that want to be a DJ anymore because it's so expensive. Yeah. When you could just become a producer yeah. and download Ableton, yeah. a free copy of Ableton and just become a producer. And yeah. So yeah, that's that hurts the DJ culture. Yeah. <laughs> but I back then to become a producer, you need outboard gear. Yeah, yeah. You need yeah. other stuff. So a- NPC, it was yeah. cheaper to become a DJ back then 100%. than a producer. 100%. Yeah. Like you, I mean, even now, like the, the price of the things, they're not going down anyway. You know, the, S- the SPs and the MPs from back then are still expensive now. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I in very similar uh, uh, situations to the guitar now. That I mean, you know, an average guitar is like can be eight to a grand. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but people are stopping doing it. I think a lot of it is because, well, what well, pay for that when I could just get a rip copy of Ableton and just. Exactly. You know I mean? it's, 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 and you could blow up faster. Faster. There's mad tutorials on how to sound like Skrillex. How to, you yeah. know, yeah, uh, anyone, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. And technically, it's, it's, it's progress is quicker because of the easy accessibility, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, but that being said, uh, things are changing, mm. and they have got crazier. And some of the things we saw last night, mm. when we, I mean, and, and like you are saying, that the champion now, he's a young gun. How old were you when you were just like, okay, I'm going to take this, I mean, I have no doubt you took it very seriously to begin with, but mm. like you, when did you actually figure, right, oh, I, know, I think I've got something here. Uh, <laughs> I think when I was like 16, 15, yeah. I joined my first battle and I wasn't good, but I had the basics down and I was 15 and I'm in this club and I'm battling this guy named Fingerprints and he's like the dude, but I go up there and I just start dissing the shit out of him. Oh, People yeah. were like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which and is a charm in itself. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like, and I had <laughs> swag back then and I was all like, uh, you know, just doing the whole thing, b-boying it out. <laughs> And people were just like, oh, yeah. man, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, everybody's yeah. going crazy. And like, when I felt that <laughs> love, I was like, this is it. This His endorphin levels shit. are like, yeah, man. I was like, I was so hyped. Mm-hmm. I beat him. I did my body tricks. I did all that shit. People were bugging out. And I was just like, man, this feeling is dope. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was that It was that hip hop shit. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the respect yeah. was there. And I was just like, I want more of this. <laughs> 